there everyone, it's Nikki D, and today's video is going to be all about unconventional beauty products. So just basically products that you wouldn't think to put on your face, but you actually should because they have really awesome benefits. And they're not just skincare things that I'm going to be talking about, but also some things that have more of a makeup purpose. You'll see. I'll just I'll just get into it and stop blabbering on about nothing. So yeah, anyways, I'm going to start this video off right with laxatives. So this is Philips Milk of Magnesia, and it doesn't have to be Philips, but just in general, Milk of Magnesia, which is a laxative, is really good at absorbing oil, and you can use this as a mask all over your face, or as a toner, or even as sort of a primer, um, just on areas that you get oily, which it is kind of messy to use use it like that because it's very liquidy as you can tell you can hear that um, so it's kind of hard to use as a primer but it's really easy to use just as a toner on kind of a cotton pad on the areas that get really oily throughout the day and another use which I have to admit did not work for me is using it as deodorant some people say that you put it on your armpits and then it's like amazing and they don't sweat and it's just really good high strength deodorant but I tried that and I just felt like I didn't have deodorant on which is a terrible feeling I, I just ugh, it was gross and it didn't really do anything and it made my pit stink even more they smelled like laxatives so yeah I wouldn't recommend well, actually, I would recommend that you guys try it out, but for me, it didn't work, so just throwing that out there, that it might work as a deodorant, but it's super duper awesome um, for your face and absorbing oil throughout the day. So, yeah, starting that video off right. And the next thing that I'm going to talk about is Visine, and this is the Visine Original Redness Relief Eye Drops, and this you just pop it in your eye and get rid of the like red sort of lines that you get when you're really tired and sleep deprived, but you can actually use this on really red pimples as well. Um, not necessarily scarred sort of pimples, but fresh, just really red irritated pimples. You can put this on and just kind of use your finger to put it on, or even a cotton bud. Um, just dab it on there, hold it for a little bit, and it's not like concealer that it's going to be completely beige, but it's going to take a lot of the redness out, and it's a very like natural way to make your pimple look less noticeable because you're not putting any makeup on it, you're just making it a little less red. So yeah, if you've never tried that, you should totally go out and get some redness relief eye drops and try it on your pimples. Um, and then the next thing that I'm going to talk to you guys about is term turmeric or turmeric I'm not exactly sure but it's ground turmeric and this is an Indian spice which you can actually use as a mask on your face and it's really really good at helping to get rid of like pigmentation and scarring and stuff like that and overall it's just a really gentle mask which is kind of surprising since it is a spice yeah, it's just, it's just something that most people would not think to put on their face, but apparently um, in Indian like tradition and culture, they've been doing this for a very long time. So, yeah, if you don't trust me, just look it up. Actually, if you don't trust me on any of these things, just Google it. You will see that it is not just me that uses these things on their face. I am not the only one who goes into their kitchen and finds weird things and uses laxatives to prevent oil. I'm, I'm not alone promise okay so yeah anyways long story short turmeric is really awesome and you should try it out so this next thing I do not actually have with me I have had it before you're just gonna have to trust me I do not have it physically but just use your imagination and pretend that I have it in my hand right now but it is monostat mon mon monostat anti chafing cream or chafing relief or something like that which I'm not entirely sure what chafing is I didn't I didn't have this lying around like I specifically bought it because I was googling like home sort of remedies and double uses for things because this kind of thing is just fascinating to me um, so I bought it specifically to use like cosmetically so I don't really know I think it's like you put it on your private parts and it's like moisturizing I don't really know kind of gross anyways um, but aside from being used on your private parts anti chafing cream is used really well um, as a primer it's very very silicone and it feels exactly like um, like I have my what's it called Too Faced um, Pore Primes and Poreless um, primer it feels the exact same as that it also feels really really similar to the um, Smashbox photo ready primer which I 
used up a while ago but yeah it just it's very very similar to those type of things but it's like under ten dollars I bet it's like seven dollars I don't I don't know it's been a while since I bought it and I seem to have lost it in my little makeup area so I'm gonna have to go get some more um, but it's really really good it just makes your makeup go on so smooth because it is so silicone-y and um, it didn't irritate my face none of these things irritated my face I know that they seem kind of weird to put you know chafing cream on your face as a primer but it's actually it works really really well and it just feels so so silky and then this next one is another kind of weird one but it is using tissue paper this is just regular tissue paper that you would use to like stuff a present for your friend or something um, but this is actually really really good blotting paper um, like it's so much cheaper than those stupid blotting things that you got from like clean and clear it's like seven dollars and you don't even get that many like those are just such a ripoff when you can just buy a whole like sheet of this or multiple sheets of this for like five bucks and this is going to take forever to use as blotting tissue yeah this is a really really awesome blotting um, product or pro it's not really a product it's like gift wrap but it's really good for blotting okay I promise and also this one's kind of weird but have you guys ever well I'm sure you guys have but you know those like toilet seat uh, liners in public restrooms if you have an emergency and you don't have any like blotting tissues or anything those things are really good I have I am guilty of stuffing some of those in my purse and just saving them as blotting tissues because they're amazing and I mean it's not that gross they're not used yet obviously so I didn't think it was that weird but I mean it kind of is so this is a less kind of weird um, alternative and it is um, easier to find if you don't want to steal things out of public restrooms then this is the way to go so highly highly recommend that and that's about the end of this video um, so I hope that you guys learned something I hope that you guys didn't know all of this stuff already and that I enlightened you to a couple more um, kind of do-it-yourself home products that you should try out so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys later bye